So what did we do? We started out with an idea. The idea was to create an IPL dashboard. And uh, we said, okay, let's start with the data. We'll see what data we have and then try and create a UI for that. Uh, we went to Kaggle and we got some IPL data that was already available. We downloaded that, we saw what data was available. It had uh, team data, match data, and individual match information, like ball by ball information. Um, we just picked the farmer. Ball by ball is a great addition to this application. We can use the same mechanism for that. But right now we just picked the team data. We use Spring Batch to import that CSV file into an in-memory database that exists in the application. That's what our system design was. We decided not to use an external database. We decided to import it and use it as an in-memory database that makes it very fast as well. Once we did that, we designed the APIs and we designed the front end for it. The APIs were designed using Spring MVC, using all of the, um, the latest stuff that you can build with Spring MVC and Spring Boot. And uh, for the front end, we used React. Again, the latest technologies there, we used functional components, React hooks and React effects. And we were able to create this uh, complete UI. We styled it so that it looks a bit decent. And uh, we now have an IPL dashboard application where you can look up how different teams have done over the years in the IPL, okay? So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, again, the next steps are going to be in the video description, okay? The next steps are gonna be look at the GitHub repo for issues, comments, bug fixes, and improvements. Fork this repo and then make changes. Once you're happy with the same changes, submit a pull request, okay? So um, this is where I leave you. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please respond with comments and likes and shares or whatever else you can to indicate that this was helpful so that I can do more of this, okay? And uh, let me know if you're stuck somewhere or you have any problems so that I can add more to the series and address any gaps in this video so far. Thanks again for watching and I hope you found the series helpful, building an application from the scratch. And I hope it's ignited an idea in your mind either to enhance this application or to build something else on your own. So thank you and good luck.